Welcome to another episode of Full Retard. Today we have more Entitled Parent Stories. First up, Entitled Mom Treats My Baby Like a Doll by Anonymous 71638ZOAO. My aunt, Entitled Mom, is carrying the child of a man who already has two daughters from a previous marriage. P is 12 years old and D is soon to be 6 years old. The other day, my mother had a little get-together to celebrate my aunt's birthday. Me and my four-month-old baby were there along with my aunt, her boyfriend, and his two daughters. The other day, my mother had a little get-together to celebrate my aunt's birthday. Me and my four-month-old baby were there along with my aunt, her boyfriend, and his two daughters. My mother keeps all toys, especially since my youngest brother is eight, so there are many toys ranging from toddler to older. All are kept in my brother's rooms where I'm currently staying as he is spending the week at his dad's, and we all thought it would be convenient for the baby that I take his room while I'm visiting. The baby was asleep in his crib when D, familiar with the house, immediately throws herself in the room to play with the toys. So I pull her out, tell her a baby is sleeping in there and to let it sleep. There are toys in a toy box in the corridor where she can play with these for the moment. She still manages to slip in the room while we're all speaking and starts loudly playing in the room that, of course, wakes up my son. My aunt's reply, she's six. You couldn't exactly expect her to talk with us. I didn't. She had toys. But once the baby's awake, the interest shifts and the girls stick to me, repeating, Wow, he looks like a doll. He's not girls. He's a baby. A real one. At first, it was fun. My son seemed into it. P, the older one, was nice, respectful, giving him toys. But D was out of control and no one was saying a dang thing to her. It's not my job to educate others' children, but she kept making big movements around the baby and screaming and tried to grab him a few times. I tried to be nice, say loud enough for her parents to react. They just look at me like, kids will be kids. I didn't feel safe anymore. Then Dee asked if she could hold him. Big no. Huge no. I let my brother hold him while he's sitting down next to me because I trust him. But this little electric pill standing jumping everywhere, no way. And I said, no. She started whining, please, please, just like I was refusing her a toy. So my aunt said, let her hold him a bit. It'll be fine. She'll have a baby sister soon anyway. I insisted, it's still no. I explained, she was too young and he's heavy and I don't feel safe. So she started getting mad, saying, I'm too uptight. D should be able to hold my baby. She'll sit down so you feel safer. So D sat down next to me and tried grabbing my son. I honestly almost shoved her against the wall. My baby was annoyed at this point. Faces he doesn't know everywhere. Loud voices. Someone trying to grab him. So I just got up and left the room. I could hear her complain to my mom about how I'm too serious and paranoid. My mom didn't say anything because she adores her sister, but she clearly felt relieved I refused. Entitled mom was always annoying, but she was on a whole new level that day. It's scary people who think they have a say in what happens to your baby. Next up, Entitled Parent Tries to Take My Nintendo Switch by Madison Rhodes. So this happened about two to three weeks ago. I was waiting outside of a store for my mom because social distancing and only six people were allowed inside at once as it was pretty small. Also, I should mention that I'm really small for my age and people think I'm younger and they can take advantage of me. I was sitting on a bench outside playing Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch. I wasn't disrupting anything at all. I had my headphones in too. Then Entitled Parent and Entitled Son came over. Entitled Parent told Entitled Son to sit down on the bench next to me. At this point, my headphones were on a low volume. When Entitled Son came over and sat down, he started to make weird noises and screaming kind of, so I obviously turned my volume up so I could hear my game. He then leaned on me and proceeded to try and press my home button and spam other buttons on my switch. I ignored him and tried to keep my distance from him. He then goes into the chemist and tells his mom something. I'm unaware of this. Entitled parent and entitled son come storming out. Entitled parent says, Hey, let my son have a go. Since my volume is quite loud, I can't hear anything except my game. She thinks I'm ignoring her and she grabs my earphones, pulling them out of my ears sharply. Are you listening to me? She shouted. What? I said, really confused as I didn't know what was going on. I'm only 13. Let my son have a go. She said angrily. I say, I'm sorry. But I kind of don't let anyone use my Switch as last time I let someone go on it. They dropped it and smashed it and I had to get it repaired, which was true. I don't care. My son is super careful. Let him have a go. 
Entitled Son nods at me. Um, I'm sorry. It's my Nintendo, and I decide who goes on it, as I bought it. She then replies with, You're like eight. I can tell you what to do. Now give him it. I then say, Actually, I'm 13, and even though you're older than me, doesn't mean you can tell me to give my property to your son. After that, she grabs the Nintendo and gives it to her son. My earphones were still in it. They both walked into the shop. My mom is unaware of what's going on and starts to talk to Entitled Parent in the queue. My mom also plays Animal Crossing, and she saw him on my Switch playing it. She says, my daughter's playing Animal Crossing outside. Why don't you join each other's worlds? I then barge into the chemist, shouting, give me my Switch back. Then Entitled Son says, what are you talking about? This is my son's Switch. My mom then says, what's going on? I then tell her, and she takes the Switch off Entitled Son and looks at the current account name. And guess what? It's me. My mom then says, why the heck did you take my daughter's Nintendo? Entitled Parent says, she gave it to my son, which was obviously a lie. Then she grabs her son and runs out of the shop. I never saw her again after that, that, thankfully. Let me know if you want to hear some more Entitled Parent stories as I have a lot more, lol. Thanks for listening. Remember to like this video and subscribe on YouTube and to our podcast. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.